Also had a $10 rewards credit. 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 <laughs> credit. Um. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe. I am a part slash full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. If you're not new here, welcome back, and thanks for coming back. You can find me on Instagram and all those places above as at Coverly Chaos, and welcome to Coverly Chaos, the YouTube version. This is my dog, Nikki. He's being really obnoxious today. Say hi to the people. He's like, get me away from this light, Mom. It's bright. <laughs> Anyways, today, guess what I have for you? Are you shocked? It's a haul. So on Christmas Eve, I figured it would be a nice day to go out because not that many people would be going out. And on Thursdays at my honey hole, they do 40% off everything in the store after 3 p.m. So it's actually kind of convenient because Thursdays is dollar day and there's a Goodwill right next door. Like when I mean right next door, like the parking lot is like pretty much shared. Like there's a wall in between both parking lots. <laughs> like, like it's literally walking distance. So <clears throat> it's really convenient. I can go to the Goodwill before three and then after three hit up the um, thrift haul. So yeah, so I'm gonna do these together just because I feel like um, a lot of my hauls have been short and I don't know, I like longer hauls. They're easier for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna do them together. Um, this doesn't include everything. There were three pieces that I actually pulled to go to the real real which is in a different video so it's a st john cardigan some st john shoes and some cv signature shoes which actually aren't going to the real real but they're not in my possession right now so other than those three everything is in here okay so these are from the first day i believe yes these are from the first day um my average cost of good on the first day the 23rd without the St. John blazer was $2.84. So I spent 40, I lied, that was with the St. John blazer. So, okay, so just collectively with the St. John blazer, we're just gonna do this. I spent $62.49 for 22 items, but the St. John blazer was pretty steep. So without it, I spent $47.50 for 21 items. So my cost of good um, was $2.26. So. This was on Wednesday, so I get 50% off one item on Wednesday, and then I get 20% off everything for being a student. So I'll tell you what they had the price tagged as. They also, the color of the week was yellow, and I got a lot of yellow stuff, and that stuff is 50% off. So lots of sales, and then I also had a $10 rewards credit, 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 <laughs> credit, um, because I shop there too much. Pretty much every time I go, I have a $10 rewards. You know, that's how you know you shop too much, but... <laughs> So it's kind of hard for me to like keep track of each individual thing because of all that extra discount So that's why I do the average cog, but I'll let you know what they tagged it at and if it was 50% off now And then yeah from there it's the 20% off and all that good stuff Okay, so this was a fun find as you guys know I'm trying to pick up less shoes because they just don't sell that well for me and I hate storing them Although I am working on storage in my storage unit right now and I will have like a tour video when I finally get it done to how I want it. I swear I've remodeled that thing like five times and I just got this new one in July so it's only been like five months and I've remodeled it like five times but we're gonna do a new model and I hope this works so anyways these are these um Abilene cowboy boots if you haven't heard of this brand it's a super like nice boot brand for cowboy boots and they've got the little metal to kick some booty you know because as damn westerns do <laughs> but it's like real on the bottom and then they still have this tag on them from where they originally were purchased which i believe these are sold at boot barn um which is like where like some high-end shoe brands are sold but anyways these probably retailed around like 150 so they had them tagged as 9.99 which I probably still would have paid, but half off they were $4.99, and then I got the 20% off, so I was super okay with that. But they are a size 9.5, so I had to keep them away from my mom because that's her size. She loves cowboy boots, and when I told her I found Abilene, guys, she doesn't know anything. Like, when I bring home, I'm like, Mom, I found St. John, and she's like, who? Who's what saint and I'm like oh my oh my god okay so like that's why I started a YouTube channel because like she just doesn't understand and I have no one else to talk to because quarantine <laughs> but I brought these home and I was like yeah I found St. John and then I got these like Abilene boots and she was like Abilene what and she like panicked and freaked out so 
yeah, she knows her uh, cowboy brands apparently and nothing else. But yeah, those were fun. Um, I did look up comps on most of this stuff, so I'm probably going to list these around like $90 because of the condition they're in. Like they've literally been worn like twice to go dancing and that was it. So I'll probably list them around that and then probably take around like 70 to 75 um, this was a fun little pair of just compression shorts. I love selling activewear, especially stuff like this. The brand is Fitzby, which is like a boutique -y athletic brand. It's not like a super well-known one um, because it is a California brand. I think it's from San Diego, actually. Um, but it was the color of the week. It was only tagged at $4, so it was $2 with the half off, and then I had all that extra stuff. And it also has pockets, which I feel like you don't find that very much. <laughs> So I'll probably list those at my basic 25, but expect like 15 for them and probably sell them Mercari, to be honest. These were fun. I know another pair of shoes kill me, but <laughs> these are a pair of Sam Edelman and they're so cute. I sneakers and like sandals. I think I'll continue to pick up, but I think I'm going to try to minimize the amount of like boots, especially because of the season now that I'm picking up. Um, but sneakers and sandals, I'll go. So there's some Edelman. It was $4.99. It wasn't the color of the week, but I did get the 20% off. So I was okay with that. The size was also good. These are a size eight, which is like a very like common size. Like I'm, I'm a seven and a half, but like I can wear an eight. So I just thought those were cute. I'll probably list those around like, I think comps were around like 45 ish. So I did find like the stock photo for it. Oh, this was fun. I had no idea what these were, but they were just too cool to like pass up. So I had to do it, you know, <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to do it. But these are just these cool like pink pants. They're very summery. Um, and the brand is Pesarico? Pesarico? I feel like it's Pesarico. I feel like it's how it's supposed to be because it's made in Italy, I think. Somewhere it says made in Italy. Yeah. So it's made in Italy, so that was like, okay, expensive brand. I think I looked up comps for these, but I don't remember, but they must have been good enough for me to pick them up, because they did. And they're like textured, kind of. I don't know if you're able to, oh yeah, you can kind of see like the texturedness of it. But then they're like this like salmon pink almost. They're like Capri-ish pants, but I just thought they were really cute and very different and unique. And I like unique stuff, so I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to list as that, because I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie um okay next up are just these pair of maroon pants I don't know what was up with me in picking up colored pants because like I don't normally do that but <laughs> the brand was soft surroundings and it was the color of the week so they had them listed at five so they were only 250 plus my 20 percent off and they're a size six which is they're actually a six petite which I try to stay away from petite sizes as much as possible excuse my like dingy nails but <laughs> But I just thought they were cool, and, like, I don't find this brand very much, especially not in, like, jeans, and I don't know. I thought it would be a fun brand to try, so I'll probably list these, and they're a high-rise. I'll probably list these around, like, 30-ish. They were only, like, two bucks, so it's okay with me. What is this? Oh, this was a new-to-me brand, but a good new-to-me brand. I feel like I find so many new-to-me brands here that... They, they don't know either so that's why I find them for so cheap because like they don't know the brand so this is just a pair of like black I want to say joggers kind of so it's like black sweats but it's like cinched at the bottom so it's like skinny leg but it's kind of like parachute -y style pant <laughs> 80s but the brand is black with two c's she thick how many c's two no, sorry <laughs> but that's the tag so it just intrigued me and I was like, mm. and they only had it tagged as $3. And then it also had like the labeling on the drawstring, which the more I find the label, the more I'm like, okay, they must be a good brand. They want people to know their brand. So I looked it up and the comps are actually pretty good. It was like a boutique like activewear um, site. And I think it might have been like a European site as well, but comps were good. I'm going to list those probably like 35 Okay, these were kind of a, like taking a shot in the dark here, but I had to do it. I own, I could have bought more of them. So they had a ton of these new tags, Juicy Couture um, pants, and they are like the basic like tracksuit pants, like the velour um, terry cloth pants, you know, and they were new tags. So I feel like they, they were 
from a wholesale or something like because they were the ex like the exact same pants and the exact same size and they were all like a size extra small so I don't know they couldn't get the extra small to sell but they're black label so they're Juicy Couture black label and they have the Los Angeles stamp as well and when I say they had like 20 pairs I mean they had like 20 pairs so it was pretty insane so I got one pair they only had one pair of this light purple color I don't know what's up with that and then they had two pairs of like this darker purple you can see the difference so two pairs they had a bunch of pairs of these and so I got two pairs of these and then one pair of these they were five dollars so if they were cheaper I would have gotten more because I only have to do one listing you know um for these anyway I have to do a different one because of the color but yeah the juicy's coming back so like I've seen people sell like this track suits like just the sweats for like fifty dollars in the last couple months so I was like you know what new tags black label I'll give her a shot and people are doing active wear right now so these I couldn't say no to. They're just a pair of Brady Melville, but they're these cute little pants. And they've just got the cute little ankle slit here. They were the color of the week. Because like I said, no like teens shop here. Like it's an old people place. <laughs> so they were $3, but they were the half off tag. So about 50 plus my 20 off. So basically like dollar days prices. If I was at dollar days, I would have picked those up and it was like pretty much the same. So what is going on here? Oh yeah, this was interesting. So this was like one of those like water polo jackets like you wear, you know, um, when you're outside like for swim. The brand is Aquash, Aquashkeen, Aquashine. I think it's Aquashine. I'm not positive. I feel like it sounds familiar. And at the time I also felt like it sounded familiar and it was the half off tag. So that's why I got it. So they had a tag to $8. So it was only four bucks. And I looked up comps, and the comps were, like, amazing. And I know people are always looking for these, and this one, like, wasn't branded either. Um, I feel like someone would wear this on a boat, too, like a sailor. I don't know. It's got, like, the little sailory buckle here. I don't know. It screams sailor to me. <laughs> I don't know what I'll list these at. I don't remember comps exactly, but they were good enough for me to pick them up. The brandy pants, I'll probably list at, like, 25. Probably cross them to curtsy. The vel uh, velour, the juicy pants. I'll probably let's start them at like 45 maybe and see what happens. This was a first for me. Cross it off the bucket list. So this is Beta brand. I've never found Beta before. This was exciting. Not a super exciting piece, but I mean, it's just black pants. Everyone needs black pants. And these aren't like sweatpants, but they're not like work pants, you know? They're like the in-between. So like you could wear them as sweats because they're the soft and like stretchy material. Um, and they're just a straight leg. So I feel like these are very classic, like, anyone could want these. And they were $5. So, um, I'll probably list these around, like, 35 ish I can't remember comps. This was, like, a week ago, and I have the memory of a hamster, so... <laughs> like, mm, can't always count on my memory. Um, these are just a pair of PacSun shorts. I love picking up, like, PacSun, like, bullhead shorts and stuff. They're just a really quick sell. Um, especially, I feel like, when the summer months start to come, like... April, May, these are going to sell so quick because they're high rise. Um, I'll definitely make sure to get these onto Mercari and hopefully curtsy by the time the summer comes. They were also the half off tag, so $4. I often find like cute little trendy shorts at the store with the half off tag because nobody ever buys them. So they were only two bucks and I said, yeah, yeah. These were fun too. What's the brand here? Oh, the Okay, so these are just a pair of high rise shorts as well. Um, these didn't have a tag on them, so that's why they didn't sell, but a little trick here, if you don't, you probably know this, but you can always look at the button, and the button says John Galt, California, and John Galt is a brand new Melville house brand, so one little eh about these is this thing is off, but I might use that to my advantage, um, my button fly, um, and I might just chop this off, like, honestly, um, Usually it would create like a giant hole here, but it didn't. So that's nice. And yeah, they were just cute. So they were not half off. They were $4, but with my 20% off, I was like, okay. And my average cog was like 284. So I definitely was a yes for me. What was this? Oh yeah. I don't know what this, I just, I don't know. It was one of those like, mm, my gut was telling me to. So it's a pencil skirt, which like probably isn't the best pickup right now. But the brand is, B oh god, Piazza Sempione, made in Italy. Again, another made in Italy. So I thought, oh, 
Sorry, I whacked the camera. Um, so I thought that the Real Girl might accept this brand. It's not on their brand list, so I don't know. I might look into it a little bit more. It doesn't have a size tag, so ThreadUp won't take it. Um, but I might just try sending it to the Real Real anyway and seeing what happens. I try to talk to, like, my consultant, but anytime I'm like, do you think they would take this, even though it's not on the brand list, she's like, it's not on the brand list. So I feel like she's not very helpful <laughs> because they definitely take stuff that's not on their list. So, so I've just decided that if I'm going to send in something, I'm just going to do it and not ask because it's not worth my time. Okay. This is a pair of Levi's. I don't always pick up Levi's anymore. I used to. On dollar days, I probably would because I'll just send them into thread up. But these were too cool to not. And they're in like literally new condition. Go chew your bully stick. What are you doing? Here. Take your bully stick and run. Stop being annoying. Okay. <laughs> and these are the 7 Eleven skinny. So they're a newer style, newer tag. Um, oh, goodness. And they're a size 31. And they were the color of the week. And they're like gray on the front with black color blocking on the back. So yeah, they were $6, but color of the week, they were three bucks plus my 20% off. I was pretty okay with that. And I think those will like be a good sell. I always do good with denim. Ah, another new to me brand in the athletic wear. I feel like it's always the athletic wear that's new to me. Cause like, I don't know, people just don't shop there, I guess. But the brand is Fiber. These are so cool. <laughs> That's why they, they caught my eye because I was like, these are so fun. But the brand is fiber. They kind of look cheap. I'm not going to lie. And the, the brand, it's one size. So that's why I was like, oh, I don't know about these. But they were the color of the week and they have branding on it, like a patch. So that was like, mm, okay. And they were only two bucks because they were color of the week. And I ended up looking up the comps and the comps were great. So yeah, I'll probably list those around 30 and, you know, take offers, of course. But for two bucks, I couldn't say no. These ones I was kind of back and forth on. I don't know why there's another tag in the pocket, but <laughs> that says $7 and they weren't $7. I wouldn't have paid $7 for these. But they're Articles of Society, which is sold at a couple places, but it's like a higher end denim brand. I don't know, but it's not really anymore, I feel like. But I don't know. They were just cute. They're like a basic, just black. They're in good condition. These green or but no, I think they're black. I think the lights just making them look green. And they only had them tagged at $4. So, you know, like this store definitely doesn't know their brands. They know St. John and like that's about it. And then the other stuff, they just price. I feel like it's just like you get a $4.99, you get a $2.99 and they're just pulling Oprah or whatever, but size 25. And yeah, they're just a plain pair of black skinny jeans. And I mean, the brand is cool. So I'd pay four bucks for that. I mean, Normally I wouldn't, but I feel like I've gotten better at like learning to like pick with a purpose, which was my December goal. So I'm pretty proud of myself for my doing my, you know, my goal for December. This is another pair of Brandy pants. I feel like it was the same girl that donated her stuff. Um, Brandy is all like one size fits all, but it's really like one size fits um, a small medium. <laughs> okay, this is like extra small. I could probably fit this on one thigh guys and I'm a medium so but I have thick thighs so I'm kind of like a large when it comes to pants I wear like an eight or ten so but then like tops I can wear a small medium I don't know not that you needed to know that but <laughs> they were color of the week so they were only a buck fifty I've been like editing my videos and the more I do it I'm like why am I doing this like I'm, just, I'm too late like that what sold video guys I don't know if you liked it but it was I felt so uncomfortable the whole time I hated it I hated it so much. I love doing hauls. Hauls are fun. Mm. <laughs> this is cool. It it was Disney and it was grumpy. And my family is like a big thing for grumpy because my mom always was like grumpy, grumpy. And she would buy us all this grumpy stuff, like insinuating, you know, that we're grumpy, which we are. But so now it's just like a meme in my house. But it was the color of the week. So it was only two bucks. And it's just a little nightgown. I thought it was cute. I love Disney stuff. I feel like a lot of people like, I don't pick up Disney anymore. I don't pick up Disney anymore. But like, it sells for me. Not for a lot. And I mean, you have to be careful too with Disney stuff because like so many places make Disney stuff. So if it's Disney parks or like Disney resort, definitely. If it's Disney store, probably. If it's like, he's jumping on the clothes and falling over. <laughs> if it's like Disney Target, Eh, I might pay a dollar for it just for the graphic, um, if it's a good one, but yeah, 
Okay, so this stuff was from the 24th. Um, my average cost of good, not counting the St. John shoes and the CV or VC signature shoes, because those were, I paid up for those. Um, the St. John shoes were $12 and the CVs were $9 and that was with the 40% off. So this day was the 40% off day. So I was a little less picky per se. Um, and not counting those, I paid $41.75 for 15 items. So my average cost of good was $2.78. So yellow was still the color of the week. So that was 50% off. Um, and you get... I actually don't know if you get 40% off the 50%. I think you do, because I think it's just 40% off your total purchase. So, I don't know. I feel like I should know that if I'm shopping there, but whatever. This brand is Clue. I think I showed this in my what I'm sending to the Real Real, and I didn't end up sending it, because it's not on their list, and they also don't sell it. So, I looked on their site if they sold it, which is weird to me, because it's a very expensive brand. Nobody knows this brand, but it's an expensive retail, and it's super cute. And it was a half-off color, so it was only 9 well, it was $9, so it only cost me four fifty, and then 40% off that, I think. We're gonna say yes, because I feel like it's the most logical for them to just take the 40% off at the end, but I genuinely don't know. So I'm gonna ask them. I should do that. <laughs> this um was like, a, uh, I don't know if I should get this, but because of the price I did and it was 40% off, so it's Athleta, um, but I try not to pick up dresses that much because they haven't done great for me. I mean, I've only been reselling for like one half a summer really and like not a spring, so that's usually like dress season I feel like is the spring so I can't really say fully but it was just too cute and it's Athleta so I feel like Athleta stuff can do well some of it can't but I don't think this has like the taggy tag on it that says like this stuff oh it does I totally lied um does it have a date on here it does okay summer 2017 that's not super old okay I don't think I looked up comps for these ones guys I think I did for some of them but not once I got home. I was just in the store. It was also Christmas Eve and my mom, like, I didn't want my mom to be mad if I was gone too long. So, like, I just went quickly because I did go to Dollar Days that morning, too. And then I went later in the day to go here. So, I was kind of, like, rushing, but not too much. This was, like, a, mm, I probably shouldn't have got this, but it was for style, really. It's J. Crew, but it's, like, this teal corduroy. It's so stinking cute. Like, I feel like it's so stylish, like, with the, like, retro-y style. But it's, like, super old J. Crew. Look at this grandpa tag. Ugh. I'm terrible with lighting, guys. It's a size large, and I don't even think it had a date on here. Like, that's how old it was, guys. Um, it was $5 with the 40% off, so it was, like, $3. I was, like, mm, for style, yeah. Again, I've been being, like, less picky. So this, I <laughs> I think I've picked this exact shirt up, like, five times. Like, and once from this store. And I'm pretty sure it was, like, oh, no, it was the How You Doing, but it was still Friends. Um, it was in one of my previous hauls, but <laughs> they had another one, so I said, okay. Um, but, yeah, it's just Friends. I'm pretty sure this is sold at, like, I don't know, Target or something. It's an XXXL, so this is definitely not a woman's XXXXL. It's a kid's XXXXL, which I didn't know they even made that. And it's a size 21, kids. At that point, I feel like you would just want to make it like a small, because I feel like this is an adult small. So <laughs> that's how I'm going to market it. <laughs> but it was tagged at two bucks, so it was like a buck 20 or whatever with the 40 off. And I also had $10 off this day. Yeah, I don't know how I keep getting so much money off, but I'm not complaining. This was another dress. that They had good dresses today. I don't always go through the dresses, but at this place I've started to because they have some good, like, trendy dresses um, on sale because of it's not in season and people aren't shopping there. But I think this was actually on the new rack. So this is Lulu's, which... I've heard from other people it doesn't do well, but I've sold two Lulu's dresses, and I don't really sell dresses in general that well. And it has, like, this side slit. It's super cute for the spring, I think. And floral prints are super in so far from what I've seen from the spring. I can't find the slit, guys. I'm sorry. Here you go. <laughs> it's right there. Lulu's is, like, infamous for putting slits in their dresses. I don't know what's up with that, but they always do it. But it just has one on this side. And, yeah, florals are, like, in... I'm not really this color floral, but... From, like, the fashion shows I've watched so far. I couldn't tell you the names because I don't know that much about it. Um, I just know enough to, like, pay attention to the style. 
but yeah florals are supposedly in just like patterns in general are coming back um okay this was like a mm, I don't know if I should have gotten this like if it was dollar day I would have gotten it but I don't know I just it was cute it was something it was one of those like if it doesn't sell I'll just wear it like I feel like that's why I bought it but <laughs> it's like velour that velour tank top those were in for like a while they're not as in anymore but that style was super trendy the brand is Volcom which is like a skate brand it's sold like active and everything if you guys know that but it has their like cute little branding back here and it's got like a lace trim a meshy trim which like the velour I won't get very much for this, but I'll definitely make sure to put this on curtsy too. I don't post that much on curtsy. That's why I don't consider myself selling on curtsy because I think I have like 10 active listings on there right now. And I maybe go on there like twice a month, but I need to be better about it. It's because it's not, they don't have it on Vendu or even list perfectly. So like you have to manually do it. <laughs> I'm too lazy for that. I say I'm too lazy, but it's more like I have 8 million things to do and that's just not on the priorities. This is so stinking cute. This is Urban Outfitters. I haven't been selling Urban Outfitters as well as I did at the beginning, which is sad, but I, it's going to happen. I'm going to put it into the world. So this is Urban, which is like just the regular Urban, just their house brand, but it's velour. It like literally matches this tank top. Like this would be such a cute, oh my gosh, wait, I kind of want to wear it. This would be such a cute like New Year's outfit if we were going anywhere like this with like the velvet skirt. So cute. It's like a matching set, but not, and it's got like buckle slits on the bottom. I don't know if this would fit me. I don't think it would. It's a size small. Yeah, my butt would be, like, hanging out of this. <laughs> I don't wear, like, tight skirts for that reason because it's just, like, butt everywhere. It's not flattering at all. <laughs> so this is cute. Another skirt. I don't know. I was into the skirts and dresses this day, which is funny because I'm usually not. Oh, shoot. I didn't tell you how much I paid for that. $20. Just kidding. It was 4 bucks, so it was, like... 250 okay this is Sadie and love I don't know I think this brand is anthropology but I could also be wrong um it didn't have the RN but I thought it was a brand that could be sold at anthro um but even if it's not I just thought it was cute it's just this cute little skirt this is another thing that will go on curtsy I feel like the reason I hadn't been posting on curtsy is because I feel like curtsy styles are very like spring summer styles if that makes sense like super boho -y stuff like does well on there not like the trendy like grandpa sweaters and stuff like urban outfitters and like bdg does really well and those are usually like boho -y, like summer spring vibes you know this is cute what brand is this i don't know it's just cute hmm i forget i told you i have the mind of a hamster oh it's american eagle that's right that's right I remember okay so it's a purple tie-dye and it's like strappy this is another dress I don't know what I was thinking with the dresses and the skirts today but I was I think it's because I went the day before and those were the places I didn't look so I didn't want to re-look through all the stuff I already looked through so I was like okay I'll just look through what I didn't and that's why um this obviously won't bring me that much but it was the half off color so it was 250 plus 40 percent off I think um so like a little, like a buck 75 a buck 50 something like that and then it was from 2017 so it wasn't that long ago so it was summer 2017 so I thought it was cute and since it's like new ish I feel like I might be able to find a stock photo but I'm expecting like 25 for that maybe maybe I'll list it at like 30 these I need to stop picking up this brand I don't know why I keep thinking I should but I just I like the styles of it I think that's why these are just a pair of brown corduroy pants I think they're cute Corduroy, like, isn't having a moment, but, like, at the same time, it is having a moment. I don't know why. Like, I, I think it's, like, always kind of there. It's kind of like Levi's, like, denim jackets. Like, I feel like Levi's is always there. I showed you the wrong tag, but it's cut from the cloth. They're the Diana Skinny. They're small size. They're size zero. But I just kind of picked them up for the style. I don't know. Like, I feel like I should have picked this up on Dollar Days, but not here. So they were $4, so they probably cost me about, like, two fifty. But my average cog was like 278, so it's okay. It's kind of funny that it was my cog was more this day, even though I had 40% off. Yep, I don't know. I probably because I got less yellow tags, because I already bought all the yellow tags. Okay, this is another brand that like, why do I keep picking this up? I don't know why. Sometimes I just I get stuck in my ways. Is anybody else like that? Like, you know that something doesn't sell well and you pick it up anyway because you're like, no, it does, I swear, and it, like, really doesn't. But this is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied 
Um, I just thought they were cute too. So they're the legging ankle, super skinny ankle. The legging ankle, super skinny ankle is what it wants to say. Uh, but here's the tag. They're smaller size, they're size 24. They were tagged five bucks, so I don't know. I mean, I probably paid like three bucks for them, but because they were like stretchy and they're like the legging and they're full length, I feel like they could do good in like January, February because they're they're casual, but not like I feel like a slob sitting on the couch casual, you know, so yeah. I was like, I'll give it a chance. Another pair of Urban. I feel like this all came from the same girl because it's the same. It's like the house brand Urban and it kind of goes with the skirt. So this is a cute green top. I love it. I don't know what this is. This neoprene. Is that what this fabric is? I never remember, but it's also a size small. I paid more for this, which I was kind of surprised that they had me. Oh, it's Modal. That they gave me more money on this than they did on the skirt. But they tried, it was $6. I mean, $4-ish with, like, the 40% off. But still, for, like, a top, it was $6. So, like I said, there's, like, no rhyme or reason to this place. But this was so cute. Like, I couldn't not get it. It was just adorable. It's probably not going to bring me that much. But it's a super, like, trendy piece um, that will, I think, will bring people to my closet. So, I was okay with it. And then one more piece of clothing. Oh, yeah, this is just, like, a Nike, like, one of those pullover, like, you put it over, like, swimsuits and stuff. Like, I feel like if you're going to the pool or something. But it was super cute. It's white, so I was scared. But I looked it up and down. It didn't really have much, um, anything wrong with it. This was a little faded. You can tell from, like, the wash wear. Like, it's a little dragged out, but it's okay. It was $4, so it was, like, $2.50. And it's got the cute little, like, movable thing on the strap here and it's got like a little texture to it and it's see-through so like it's definitely for like swim and stuff we can wear it like over a sports bra and like running shorts I think would be cute and then two more pairs of shoes and then we're done so I was excited to find both of these so these are so cute I didn't even get the I didn't even see the brand when I picked them up and then I was going through and I was like oh I just picked them up for style how many times am I going to say I'm not picking up shoes and then pick up more stinking shoes? <laughs> but I couldn't. I couldn't not. They're a pair of Clarks. I didn't even know they were Clarks, though. But they're, like, got this little, like, what is this called? I don't know. But they're kind of like a, like a lace-up, like, Oxford almost. Like, they're not quite an Oxford, but they're not quite, like, a sneaker. They're an in-betweener. Can we just call them that? But they're so stinking cute. I love them. They are a size 8. Ooh, I might be able to wear these. No, Chloe, you don't need them. Um, I haven't looked up comps on these at all. I think sometimes I look up comps, sometimes I don't, um, especially to this day because I was in a hurry. They were six bucks, so I probably paid like four dollars for them. These ones I did look up comps because they're like the third time I've come across these there and they have not sold, and I was kind of curious. So they're like knockoff Burks is what I thought they were originally, but they're like nice. Like, if you feel them, like, they feel like Burks. So I was like, I feel like this brand might be good. And the brand is N-A-O-T. Should I even try? I don't, I'm not even, Naut? Naut? Na um, yeah. But you can see the brand right there. And they're just, like, a Burke style. And I looked them up, and they're apparently, like, a nice, like, comfort shoe brand. Um, not quite Birkenstyle. Birkenstyle? Oh, my gosh. Birkenstock style, but, um, I want to say Macy's. And they retail for, like, 100 so, and they're in good condition. Obviously, they have, like, the footwear, but the, I feel like they're similar to Burke is, like, you wear them one time and you, it shows that you wear them, like, because, <laughs> like, the bottoms are, like, barely even worn. Like, the bottoms are in really good condition, other than they wrote the stinking price on there. I hate it. I don't even take that off. Fun fact. I don't care. <laughs> I'm so bad, but, like, I'm not going to waste time trying to get that off. But these are just so cute. Um, I don't know that... Where do they put the sizes on these things? Ooh, I could spend 10 minutes trying to find this size. I feel like it might be here where the... Oh, and they're made in Israel. Ooh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what size these are, and I don't see it on the sides or anything. So I'll have to do some investigative work. Reseller by day, investigate, investigator, detective by night. Okay, well, I don't know. But that's it for the haul. I'm going to list these... These I'm going to list at like 50. These I'll probably list at like 45. I don't know. I don't remember what the reselling comps were. I just remember the retail. Um, and then I never looked up comps on these, but they're super cute. 
And if they don't sell out, I'll keep them. It's a good part <laughs> about buying stuff in your style. If you guys could see my dog right now, oh my gosh, at the end I'll show you. But anyways, thanks for coming. Bye. I appreciate you all for watching. If you enjoyed yourself or you found anything funny or fun or nice in this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you're not already, feel free to hit that subscribe button below as well. And you'll see lots more thrifts, haul thrifts, hauls, thrift hauls <laughs> if you like it. And a lot of Chloe not speaking English because apparently I'm not good at that. <laughs> But yeah, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can hit the bell notification right next to it and then it will notify you when I put out new videos, which happens hopefully twice a week. My goal for 2021 is once a week and twice if I'm lucky. And yeah, that's all I have for you. Um, I hope you all have had a great January so far, a great start of 2021. And if you haven't, hang in there. It'll get better. And I'm going to show you my dog really quick if I can figure this out. <laughs> Say hi, Nikki. <laughs> All right, as always, y'all, stay gold.